Welcome to Computer Basics, Episode 6, Intro to Microsoft Excel. In this video, you'll learn how to open, navigate, save, and exit Excel. What is Excel? Excel is a spreadsheet software that allows you to organize data, perform calculations, create charts, and much more. It's one of the most popular software applications of modern times. You can use it for accounting, budgeting, managing your information like contact lists or employee information, and you can use it as a calculator. There are many different versions of Excel. In this video, I'll be using Excel 365. If you're using a different version of Excel, your screen may look a little different than mine, but the main concepts are the same. How do I open Excel? To open Excel from your Start menu, you can search for Excel, or look for it in your Start menu by clicking the Windows button in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, or press the Windows button on the bottom left of your keyboard. Scroll through your programs to find Excel. Sometimes it's categorized under M for Microsoft Excel, or a folder called Microsoft Office. Click Blank Workbook. When you open Excel, you'll see an empty spreadsheet typically shortened to sheet. Sheets are made up of individual cells to help you organize your information. You can see the name of the sheet you're on at the bottom of the screen. Here you can add more sheets by clicking the plus sign. To move between your sheets, click the tab you want to view to pull up that sheet. If you have several sheets, you can use the arrows to scroll through all of your sheets. All of your sheets together are called a workbook. When you save your file, you don't save individual sheets. You save the entire workbook. You can have as many workbooks as you need. Each time you open a new workbook, it will open in a new window. How do I navigate Excel? Excel can look overwhelming when you first start using it, but don't give up. Like anything, it takes time. But the more often that you use it, the more comfortable you'll feel. Let's start at the top and work our way down. The green area at the top includes your Quick Access Toolbar, the Title Bar, and the Minimize or Expand ribbon. You'll see a search bar, which you can use for help. For instance, if you're not sure how to insert a cell, type in your keywords, and Excel will provide options for you to choose from. Click the option that best applies. Below this area of the ribbon are the command tabs, such as Home, Insert, Page Layout, Formulas, and more. These tabs are organized in the order that they're typically used. As you click on each tab, the ribbon will change to show you more options. At times, additional command tabs will appear, like Design and Format. These tabs only appear when you're working on certain tasks, like designing a chart. The formula bar is below the commands tab. This is where you will enter data and formulas into your sheet. To the left of the formula bar is the name box, which indicates which cell you're entering information into. This is often called the cell's address. Each cell has a unique address, which is determined by which column letter and row number it intersects. You can locate the cell by the column letters across the top and the row numbers going down the left-hand side of the screen. You can click between the column or row headings to make them smaller or larger. You can click a column or row heading to select an entire row or column. You can also look for the selected cell indicator to indicate which cell you're currently in. The cell appears with a bold green line surrounding it. All of the cells make up the largest part of the workbook, which is the worksheet area. On the far right hand side of the screen is the vertical scroll bar to move the page up and down. At the bottom of the sheet is the horizontal scroll bar, which you can use to move the page right and left. If your mouse has a scroll wheel, you can also use this to perform the same tasks. Finally, at the very bottom of the screen, below the horizontal scroll bar, is the status bar. 
Here you'll find items like the mode indicator, layout selections, and the zoom slider. You can press the minus sign on the zoom slider to make the screen smaller and the plus sign to make the screen bigger. You can also slide the indicator toward the plus sign to increase the zoom or toward the minus sign to decrease the zoom. How do I save my Excel workbook? When you're ready to save a document, click the File tab in the ribbon. Click Save As. Click Browse. Choose a place to save your Excel workbook by clicking the folder or location. Type a distinct name for your Excel workbook in the file name box. Click Save. How do I exit Excel? Make sure you save your Excel workbook before exiting. You can either click the X in the right hand corner of the screen or click File and then Close. That's all for your introduction to Microsoft Excel. Stay tuned for part two, where you'll learn how to enter data, format data, and use basic formulas. If you have questions, comments, or suggestions, please reach out by phone, email, or just stop by and say hello. Have a great day.